everybody. I just want to share with you guys my 18 and pregnant story. So in 2014, I met this guy and he was living in Abu Dhabi at the time. And he then came back here to be with his brother and sister. And I think we like, we seen each other around November and we were talking and I I stayed over at his house and all that and about three months later I found out I was pregnant and when I found out I was pregnant my grandpa was recently very ill and I just I didn't know what to do my emotions were really bad because my grandpa he was like my best friend and that's what made me like drop out of school and do all the things that I was doing that I knew I shouldn't be doing but I lived with my grandpa for like six months and I seen him go what he like what he was going through like the sickness and all the things he had to do and my head was just telling me that I couldn't see that anymore. So when I got pregnant, I think he died in May or yeah, May. It might have been March. I don't know. I try not to think about it, but he didn't get to know if I was having a boy or a girl and I ended up going in for an ultrasound and I got this ultrasound picture taken and I was showing my family and they were like, that looks just like your grandpa. And I started crying and it was just bringing back memories of me and my grandpa because we had a really strong bond. And about two weeks after that ultrasound, I found out I was having a boy. <laughs> So I was going to name him Jeff after my grandfather, but everybody else had kids named Jeff in the family and I just didn't want him to have a name that everybody else has. So it took me a while to figure out what I was going to name him because his father did want me to name him after him, but I didn't want to. So I just kept looking and looking all over for names and I ended up picking out the name Zane. Well, his dad didn't like that name. And that's a name that I stuck with. And instead of naming him Jeff, my grandpa Jeff's middle name was Alan. So I named him Zane John Allen. And then John in there is for my other grandpa. That's his first name. And that was the name that I loved. So it was, I went to the doctors and they told me that he was going to be born December 24th. And that is the day, wait, yeah, that is the day of my sister's birthday. So I was really excited for that. So time passes by and I go to the doctors again and I just went for a checkup and they did some, they did some testing on me. And then me, my mom and my mom's friend went out to eat and my body just felt like, okay, I've never been through this before. And this doesn't feel right. So I'm like, mom, I think I'm in labor. Well, my mom was like, uh, you still have like three weeks left or two weeks left. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I'm pretty sure I'm in labor. Well, my mom's friend told her that she better take me to the hospital. Well, we get to the hospital and they check me and nothing's happening, no progress. 
Well, my uterus was like this. So they couldn't see if I was having contractions or not. So I walked some and they sent me home. As soon as I got out of the hospital door, all the contractions were getting worse and worse. So I get home. I go in the barn to see my son's dad and my water breaks. Well, I sat on a bucket and I was pretty sure that my water broke. I just, I didn't know if I sat on some water or if it broke. So this was around like when there was like a shooting around where we live and my car, I recently got into a car accident and totaled my car. So we were using my sister's truck. Well, they thought that the truck that we were using was the people that shot the cop's car. And there was police officers all around my house. I'm screaming, I'm in pain. So we go in the house, I take a couple baths. And then, and then, I was like, okay, I need to get to the hospital. Well, I told my son's dad that I need to get in the hospital. I'm in labor. And he told me, no, you are not in labor. And I was like, yes, I am in labor. So we get in the car and all the cops are still around there. And he drives me to the hospital. Well, I get to the hospital. Well, right before I get to the hospital, like a mile there, I start pushing. So I was like, oh gosh, I cannot have this kid in the car. So I couldn't really get out of the car and they stuck me in a wheelchair and the baby's head was like crowning. So I got at the hospital at 12 o'clock and I ended up having him at 12 after. I did not have the epidural and I did not have pain medicine. I did it all natural. The contractions were a little bit bad, but then it goes away. Like if you push, you can't feel it. So it was easy, but it was easy, but the after part of it was, I just, I don't know how to put it. Like it was bad. Like I was in pain. I was allergic to the pain medicine, so I couldn't take those. The only thing that really did work was the spray, the numbing spray and the water water squeezer that they give you. That I love that, but I will be putting pictures of the baby from when he was just born to now. He is three and a half years old so he is getting pretty big and I love him so much he he loves tractors he loves playing on the farm with grandpa he calls my mom fa we don't know why he calls him fa but he is a smart baby like he loves to be outside and his dad has not been around since he was six months old. And it just breaks my heart to see that. And I wish that his dad would be around, but then sometimes I don't because if he didn't want to, if he wanted to see him, he'd come and see him. But he, he just chooses not to. And I am happy that I get to see him every day. That he is just... Okay, I don't want to cry, but he's like, I love him so much. Like, he's just my life. Like, I think if I didn't have him, the past would have been so much worse because he's, he's just a big part of me. Like, I was so depressed that it was just unreal. And I could just, like, think of him and it'd be all better. But, like, when I wasn't pregnant, I just, it was like, 
I was so depressed I didn't want to be here anymore. And having Zane was a blessing. Like, there's no other way that I, I would want to live life. I wouldn't want to think that, oh, I shouldn't have had him. He was, he's just my life. So, this is the end of the story. I'm sorry for the tears. And if anybody has any questions, comment, please subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. And I will be back with another video hopefully soon. Thank you.